and welcome to Take Time to Create. This is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. My name is Linda and today we're going to make some um, greeting cards. It's been a while since I've made some. I'm run out and I'm needing some more so I thought I would show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to make a few and the base or a key element in all of these cards will be old dictionary pages. I have an old dictionary that I use and I cut up quite a bit. Um, so that is what we're going to use and I really like it. I think it adds a really cool texture, really cool detail. These are going to be fast and easy and quick. Those are all things that we want when we are uh, designing things and trying to get cards out. So to protect my work surface, I have a old pattern that I'm just gonna stick down here. I have my dictionary page and what you want to do is um, find your coordinating paper and I'm going to use these little triangles here. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's this uh, mini deco paper and really cool patterns. I really like it. Um, so check the Dollar Tree. They're really thin paper. Super, super thin. Uh, but it's okay for a um, for a card like this because it's going to go on something on a base uh, so I always like to make sure I get my pattern paper and my dictionary paper all of that together because then you can get your colors together so um, I've got a sticker here and this came from the Dollar Tree as well Let's see if I can find it um uh, it came in a pack like this I cut it out I always cut them out with the paper on the back so I can kind of position them before I actually put them down. Um, really cute stickers at the Dollar Tree right now. Or I got it a little while ago, but they do have really cute stickers. And I have another one here. So, what I'm going to do first is I have this little chalk here. It's um, chalk ink. And it's really pretty. This is in the color worn jeans. Um, I think it looks kind of like an iron. <laughs> really cute. And I am just going to ink the edges and I'm just pulling from the center out just to give it a little bit of color so that it shows up on the um, paper a little better. Like I said, these are um, very quick cards, not a lot of intricate details. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that do these really beautiful, intricate cards. They're gorgeous. I love them. Uh, but I thought it might be nice to get some easier cards out there uh, so that if you're in a bind, you can get something out pretty quickly. So I just have my tape runner here and I'm just going to run that along the corners or on the edges. This cardstock that I'm using uh, was an eight and a half by 11 that I cut in half. So I can get two cards out of one eight and a half by 11. I like the size. I think it works really well. Now your little triangles can go up or down. I kind of want them going up and a word of advice, make sure your text on your dictionary paper is actually going up and down. Well, unless you want to go sideways. That's completely up to you, but I think it looks better if your text is going the correct way. But um, it's like I said, it's completely up to you. All right, we have that little guy there. It says cherish the little things. Um, it's a little double sticky on there. Now there's a 3D sticker on the back of this. Now sometimes these don't stick as well as you would hope. So I have um, some little extras in my stash that I'm just gonna kinda add to the corners just to give it a little more stickiness because <laughs> you never know, um, especially if you mail this, it does kinda squish down when you stick it in the mail um, because it, they are foam. But you really wanna make sure that it's adhered down. And last but not least for this card, I have some stickles. This is the color baby blue. And I am just going to put some little stickles in the corner. And I'm gonna put some more over here. And I'm gonna put some on each of the corners here. And each of all of the corners here. This card is done. Look how cute that looks. Just like that. One card is done. All right, let's do another card. I have my dictionary page here and I have my eight and a half by 11 cardstock that's cut in half and then folded. So there's my 
card. I'll just stick it over to the side. Um, I kind of want to stamp on this one. Um, so I have this really pretty uh, postcard paper. It's from Prima Marketing. It's um, Santa Torini. It's a Frank Garcia. It's very beautiful and I really like it. I like this one where it says, I followed my heart and it led me to you. So there's three of these in each of these packs. I'm going to trim it down and what I want to do, but first before I do that, I want to stamp the background here. So I have these swirl stamps. I don't know where I got them. I got them at a garage sale for my friend. <laughs> so um, I do know that. Uh, my friend was selling some of her stuff and I got it there, but I don't remember the brand. I think the packaging, I threw it away or something. I really love the swirl patterns. I have Ranger Archival Ink in black. And we're just going to ink it and stamp some swirls directly onto the uh, dictionary page here. There we go, just like that. So cute. I think I wanna ink the edges of this as well. This is the color Old Rose and it's um, with the ironing board as well. Uh, these chalk inks, which I think is really pretty. And I'm just lightly inking the edges. That way it sets it apart from all of the white. Now this little, I followed my heart and it led me to you, um, is in blue and pink. So either one would work just fine. If you don't have the chalks, um, you can ink with, you know, any ink pad on the edges. You could take uh, gelatos and ink it up. You could take just about anything that you have to give that uh, little bit edge there. So um, I am way on my using it up in my stash kick still. <laughs> so I wanna make sure I use up all of this stuff. All right, so I am going to get my trimmer out and I'm gonna trim this now. All right, so there we go. Now we want to kind of um, set it apart. I've got these, mm, nope, that blends it in too much, okay. So we want to kind of set it apart from um, the background here. So I'm going to get some washi tape. I have this really pretty washi tape here. Um, it's really pretty. It's I don't know what it is, don't know where I got it. Uh, I really like it, it's very pretty. So I'm going to actually stick it on the paper. Um, what I'm doing is I don't wanna tape this down, I want to have the washi tape on the paper and then this goes on top of the washi tape. It's kind of a fun look, it's a little different. I'm not setting everything down you know, super down yet. Um, and then I will kind of play with it and make sure like this one needs to go up a little bit. Um, kind of like that look, it's a little different. You know, most people put the washi tape on the uh, card or whatever they're tearing down, but um, there's lots of ways to use your washi tape and this is just another one. So got my edges, they're not perfect, which is just fine because that is what washi tape is all about. Not perfection, cool. Okay, I love that, you know, washi tape, you can rip it and then you can put it on and then you, the edges, I love the edges of all of the washi tape. Okay, so pretty. So I have the color Icicle and Stickles and we're gonna just go ahead and color this heart in. I like it, it's kind of a, a hollow glitter in there so it gives that really pretty shine. And we're gonna add some dots. You can't see it at all. Let me raise this up. There we go. So look how pretty that is. All right, not too bad, not too hard to do. Uh, it just took a minute to get this card done and you have a handmade card. All right, let's do another one. These are so much fun. I am really enjoying these. All right, so we're going to make another card, one more card, and that will finish up our trio of cards. Um, same base card stock and I'm using this pattern paper out of the um, mini deco paper from the Dollar Tree. I really like this one. We used one of them before. So this is going to go in the background and then we're going to decorate some dictionary paper because that's what we're using on all of these is dictionary paper. I have my little bin of gelatos um, and I store them in and 
I got this online. I get a lot of questions about this. I get this online. I think I got it from Amazon. I think it's a lipstick holder. Not sure. I'll link it down below if I can find it. Um, but yeah, it works really well for gelatos. All right, so I pulled out three. I have um, cotton candy and metallic mint and passion fruit. So just three colors that I have um, that will go really well with this. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda scribble along. So I've got it all scribbled on in random fashion and I'm just going to take um, a water brush just dipped in clean water and just kind of spread my colors all around. I'm kind of mixing them, um, kind of getting them going. Some will mix better than others. Um, some aren't going to mix as well. That's just the way the colors work. And I'm just kind of mixing them just to get a really cool, just a background here. Not, not worrying too too much about it um, we're going to do a technique on top of it but we're going to just get some colors going I'm gonna get my green smearing around my blue really doesn't want to move around at all not sure what's going on with my blues maybe I can swirl it around and there we go it didn't like the straight lines so I uh, swirled around the blue on there now you can rub gelatos with your finger, but I like to use water to spread it around. All of it works, all of it's fine. Um, I do love my gelatos. It is one thing that I don't think we use as much. I think we all have purchased them, but it's like washi tape. We're not using them enough. Okay, and then the green, let me kind of spread it around just a little bit more. take a little bit of this color it's iced coffee it's one of my favorites obviously I use it a lot I'm gonna just kind of add some a little bit of gold around um, I'm feeling like this is more uh, the colors aren't quite going together so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this color in here to maybe make it work together just a little bit more there we go I like that shows the colors these were just a little too bright and it wasn't quite going with the background now I think that that goes a little better. We've got this kind of darkish color there. Um, there's some brownish colors. Anyway, use what you have. I don't have any of the really muted gelato colors. I've got mostly, you know, metallics and brights, but this will work just fine. All right, so this needs to be completely dried before the next step, so let me do that. Now what we're going to do is I have a uh, Faber-Castell and it's in the Pit Artist. This is the brush one and um, it is waterproof so that is nice. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of scribble some flowers on here. We're just going to take it and I'm just going to make kind of like a big, big rose here. Very artistic, impressionistic, you know, it's the impression of a rose. And I'm going to do maybe a daisy-ish here. Just like this, do another rose. All right, so I've got a bunch of them on there. They're just kind of impressionistic, scribbled on, and I'm gonna just kind of take swirly loopy vines around. want to take and make some um, leaves just go ahead and put some leaves in there put swirls off of your vines if you want to put leaves on your vines go ahead and do that um, this is just you know just play time with these just lots of fun uh, this is you know going to be more in the foreground but um, it's just kind of a scribbly fun backdrop I like that. So now what we're gonna do, so we've got our um, pattern paper. So now we're going to rip this because we wanna see our pattern paper. And this is why we didn't rip it before because I wanted to rip the edges here so we have that showing. 
just like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, cool. I like that. Let me glue these on or adhere them on. I'm gonna use some, oops, um, just double sticky runner tape here. There we go. Let's stick this on the card. Then we're gonna add a little sentiment, maybe some washi tape. Okay, so I have these stickers and they came from the pack Chalk It. Got it on clearance, of course. KN Company, Chalk It Now, and I have some, they look like this. Um, I like this time to celebrate. Let me cut it out. I always like to cut them out before I stick them on just to make sure I like the way it's gonna look. All right, just like that. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I wanna kind of bring it up from the background. I'm going to use some washi tape. I have um, blue and teal and the purple. I'm actually gonna go teal. Well, that purple's too dark. Let's go these three colors. That'll work just fine. All right, these are just tiny little washi tapes. Um, if I can find where I have purchased them, I will let you know. And I'm just gonna kind of make a background with these um, that will kind of help the sticker set itself apart a little bit. Since they are such thin washi tapes, it's gonna take a couple minutes to do this, but um, I'll just kind of keep going in a little pattern. It's not gonna be perfect, but it will work just fine. Um, I kind of like this look. I might need to put oop, a little more hair. Just like that, tape that on there, glue that on. Look at that, how cute, all right. And this set had some really cute little flowers with it, so I'm gonna add those super cute flowers with this set. So I'm gonna add, there we go, put two flowers up there. All right, just like that, this card is done. All right, those are the three cards that we made out of dictionary pages. So look in your stash, see what you have, find those dictionary pages and use them up. Use up your stickers that you have. I think they turned out super cute and they're all very different. Um, I liked using what I had in my stash, getting back into using what we have, getting back into the low buy, all of that good stuff. So um, yeah, these turned out super duper cute. I, I actually, I really liked them. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and on my blog. I have two Instagrams. I have Linda's Journey 78, which is my personal Instagram, all my fun stuff that way. And then I have Take Time to Create, which is all my crafty goodies, up close pictures of things that I do, um, projects that I may not show uh, on my tutorials, but all the good stuff. All of the links are in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.